Oliver, way over there. I don't think this camera picks up shit far away. See him? Ain't it? Anyway, had an interesting thing happen yesterday. Uh, a guy said he hadn't ridden in a long time. Wanted to start getting back into it. Wanted to come over and look at one of our bikes. Great bike, by the way. And <clears throat> so I knew it'd be perfect for him. <clears throat> and so I tell him, since you haven't ridden in a while, I'll trailer the bike to your house for you. And he's going, great. So. I had no thinking that he would actually want to ride. He would just see us ride it or hear it run and be happy and buy it and we'd trailer it to his house. So he's there, he comes to the house, sits on it. Yeah, this is great. So I reach over and start it. And he's going, yeah, well, let's see how it goes. Kicks it in gear and takes off. I'm like, what? Oh, shit. I did not expect that, but I thought, well, he must feel pretty confident and if you haven't ridden in a while you can't just jump on a bike and go you got to take it slow steps increments charlie what are you doing nut dog and uh so he take he goes down our drive which is a long horrible gravel mud shit driveway and it, it takes high skill right there but anyway he goes on and i'm like oh shit and then I realized, oh crap, I didn't turn the gas, in, gas on because so he's going to run out somewhere. And I'm going, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. And my son's going, he'll be all right, he'll be all right. He knows, he knows bikes. Uh-uh. Want to bet? Anyway, I got my son to take one of the bikes and go look for him. When you pull out our driveway, you can either go right or left. We didn't know which way he went, so of course we went right. He went right. My son did, and then he didn't see nothing. So turned around, came back left, and here's the guy walking up the hill, totally traumatized, freaked out. So my son gets him on the back of the bike he's on, takes him down to the bike, shows him the petcock, turn the gas on. He's like, oh, shit. <clears throat> so he turns it on. My son comes back, and then he comes driving up the driveway, stops. <clears throat> Obviously fucking totally traumatized. He... Got out in traffic, and the, <clears throat> the rednecks around here cut you no slack, right up in your ass and all this shit, you know, and here he's on a big 750 Honda, which is a pretty big bike, you know, and and people rednecking him, and then he, somehow he gets turned around before he runs out of gas, thank God, thank God he wasn't just driving down the road, and, but anyway, apparently he couldn't get it started, and then my son rescued him and he made it back and he's like i'm not ready for this <laughs> so he you could tell he was just freaked out and we're like hey it's okay it's okay i you know i had to get back into it slowly i mean jumping on a bike is scary after you haven't been on for one for a while anyway he leaves and later i'm i'm actually you know yeah, we did not make the sale, but I'm feeling thankful. It's like, and I think what might have happened is uh, me not turning on the gas might have been, uh, might have saved his life. I don't know. I don't know. You don't know. All I know is he made it back and he, did, he didn't die. <clears throat> okay. So I just felt thankful for the rest of the day. So maybe I'm evolving here. Yeah? Maybe I'm evolving. I don't know. But he made it back, back. The bike made it back. Like the lady in the Bible says, all's well. All is well. <sighs> you gotta reframe everything, man. You gotta reframe everything. <sighs> you exaggerate stuff if you wanna. There's a way to reframe too. You Like if you're in traffic and you're really upset, you can think. Start exaggerating, like, yes, I'm here. I'm never going to leave. I'm going to run out of gas. I'm not going to have any food. I'm going to starve. The buzzards are going to eat my, you know, just to exaggerate it. That makes your brain realize, no, I'm just in traffic and I'll be out of here in five more minutes. Reframe. Tony Robbins. 
used to talk about reframing. Tony Robbins, these motivational guys, they can't do any of the shit they tell you to do. They made their money by telling you to do it. <laughs> fucking joke. What a fucking joke. And meditating, I, if, if ascension relies on me meditating, I guess I ain't gonna go. So when you mix, Jesus, so many mixed messages on that, you know, this new world. It's like some say that those who are asleep ain't gonna make it. Some say that they'll all make, we'll all make it, but they'll be coming along later. It's very fucking confusing. Very fucking confusing. Oh, where's the dog? Ah! Charlie. Boy, oh boy. You never know what these dogs are gonna do. He took off in a completely different direction this morning before we even got to this part of the trail. He started running down towards my son's house. And we're, what? Oh, anyway, Jesus. Oh. So, a lot of people think it's the... Uh... Charlie! Down here, buddy! Down here! I don't know how good his far side is. Boring. Bing. 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 <laughs> Sorry, bad throw there. Hey, one oh, another oh, oh. Okay, you want one? Oh, shitty throw. Sorry. Okay. Let's go. You got it. That's good. Uh, anyway. Fuck. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, shit. Cooper, what are you doing? What's going on over there, boy? They're attracted to that area, though. Cooper, what are you doing? Here he comes. Something, something is in there. I don't know what it is, but something is in there. Because every freaking day, they like go over there and stick their tail up in the air and pause. That's like you know, shit. So anyway, I think it's not the Revelation days, it's not the Antichrist days, it's not the Jesus coming back days, and they're kind of skipping that part, they're just saying that we're going into the millennium and going to be in our light bodies, and it's like, well, wait a minute, what happened to the Antichrist stuff, what happened to the Jesus coming back stuff? You can't skip all this shit. It has to happen. And, and there's another war. It has to happen in Israel against complete uh, Muslim countries only. I mean, there's another uh, Israel war at the end. I know Gog and Magog and all that against Russia and shit like that. But there's another war supposed to happen in Israel where they're outnumbered and they win against Muslim countries. And that hadn't happened either. So... I think we're in what's called the kingdom age, which is the on earth as it is in heaven, where Christians take over the planet, and we all get healed, and we all get young, and we all take over the place. And, and that lasts for about 213 more years, according to the Jewish calendar. And then, oh, sorry. And then Jesus comes back. Then the seven years where this Antichrist pops up starts. And then we're gone. And the seven years happens. Then we come back. And then the millennium starts. So I think we got about 213 years of Christians taking over the planet in a utopic world. However, right now, it don't look too good. So all I can say is keep breathing, I guess.